The African nations of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger are known for their strong and determined leadership. These countries are led by courageous leaders who boldly address injustice. Unlike certain other African nations influenced by external forces, these countries demonstrate an independent approach to governance. Recently, Mali has drawn attention for its resolute decision to cut diplomatic ties with Ukraine. In order to gain insight into Mali's decision to sever diplomatic relations with Ukraine, I would like to present an official statement that was broadcasted live on Malian television. While the speech was delivered in French, I will provide a translated version to facilitate comprehension of the situation. The transition government of the Republic of Mali has come to know, with profound astonishment, the subversive proposals by which Mr. Andriy Yusov, spokesman of the Ukrainian Military Intelligence Agency, has admitted Ukraine's involvement in a cowardly, treacherous and barbaric attack on terrorist armed groups, which resulted in the death of elements of the Malian Defense and Security Forces in Tinsawatan, as well as material damage. These statements have been reinforced by Mr. Yuri Pivovarov, Ambassador of Ukraine to Senegal, who openly and without any mistake has shown his country's support for international terrorism, particularly in Mali. Worse, in their comments, these Ukrainian officials have announced other results to come. These statements of extreme gravity, having been the subject of neither denial nor condemnation by the Ukrainian authorities, clearly show the official support of the Ukrainian government for terrorism in Africa, in the Sahel, and more precisely, in Mali. After a thorough examination of the situation, the transition government of the Republic of Mali underlines that the actions taken by the Ukrainian authorities violate the sovereignty of Mali, go beyond the framework of foreign interference, which is already condemnable in itself and constitutes a characteristic aggression of Mali and a support for international terrorism, a blatant violation of international law, including the UN Charter. The transition government of the Republic of Mali firmly condemns Ukrainian aggression and denounces the hostility of the Ukrainian authorities for the position of neutrality observed by Mali, which has always called for a peaceful settlement of the crisis opposing the Russian Federation to Ukraine. In addition, the transition government of the Republic of Mali fully adheres to the diagnosis established by the Russian Federation, which, however, has been keeping an eye on the world for years, on the neo-Nazi nature of the Ukrainian authorities, today allies of international terrorism, far from the aspirations of peace and stability of the Ukrainian people. Following the recognized and assumed involvement of Ukraine in the characterized aggression of Mali, the transition government of the Republic of Mali decides on the following measures. 1. The break with immediate effect of diplomatic relations between the Republic of Mali and Ukraine, the latter of which the destinies are unfortunately entrusted to Panthers, confusing the international scene and the theater scene, I repeat. One, the break with immediate effect of diplomatic relations between the Republic of Mali and Ukraine, the latter of which the destinies are unfortunately entrusted to Panthers, confusing the international scene and the theater scene. I repeat, one, the break with immediate effect of diplomatic relations between the Republic of Mali and Ukraine, the latter of which the destinies are unfortunately entrusted to Panthers, confusing the international scene and the theater scene. Two, the seizure of competent judicial authorities. Following the words of Mr. Andriy Yusov and Yuri Pivovarov, which constitute acts of terrorism and apology of terrorism. Three, the necessary measures to prevent any destabilization of Mali from African states, especially from Ukrainian embassies located in the sub-region, with terrorists disguised as diplomats. 
Four, the formal alert to regional and international bodies, as well as to the states that support Ukraine, by indicating that this country has openly and publicly displayed its support for terrorism. Consequently, Mali considers support for Ukraine as support for international terrorism. Mali calls on the responsibility of the international community in the face of the deliberate choice of Ukraine to support terrorism in a global context where unanimity is made and it is imperative to combat this scourge. Mali calls on the African states and peoples in particular to denounce these subversive actions that threaten the stability of the African continent. The transition government of the Republic of Mali reiterates its thanks to Mali's friendly countries for their solidarity in the face of the perpetrated terrorist attacks with the competition of foreign sponsors. The transition government of the Republic of Mali notes that this aggression by Ukraine is part of the larger scheme of certain actors that actively support and instrumentalize terrorist armed groups coalesced with rebel groups for hegemonic and neo-colonial purposes and to break the dynamic of emancipation the reconquest of sovereignty and the socio-economic development initiated by the Conference of States of the Sahel. The acts of aggression far from meeting their objectives reinforce, on the contrary, the commitment and determination of Burkina Faso, the Republic of Mali, and the Republic of Niger as part of the Confederation of States of the Sahel to continue with more vigor their resolute march towards the reaffirmation of sovereignty and the taking in hand of their destiny for the happiness of the populations of the AES. Mali bows before the memory of all the victims of insecurity in the Sahel and reaffirms that the crimes perpetrated will not remain unpunished. May God bless Mali and the AES made in Bamako on August 4th, 2024. Thank you for your kind attention. You see, a few weeks ago, on July 6th, the military leaders of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger convened for their first summit in Niamey, during which they formally entered into a new confederation by signing a treaty. This significant development comes after the leaders had previously severed ties with an existing West African bloc. During the summit, the heads of the three countries, all of whom came into power through coups in recent years, expressed their commitment to deepening integration among their nations. In a joint statement, they announced the adoption of a treaty to establish a confederation, officially creating the Confederation of Sahel States, AES. This confederation is set to bring together a population of approximately 72 million people, signifying a new era of cooperation and collective action in the region. In January, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger announced their decision to withdraw from the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, citing concerns about alleged manipulation by France, their former colonial ruler. This move marked a significant shift in their diplomatic stance. The three countries not only severed their military and defense ties with France, but also expressed their intent to bolster cooperation with Russia, signaling a strategic realignment in their foreign relations. General Abdurahamena Chiani, the leader of Niger's military government, declared that their decision to turn away from ECOWAS was irreversible during the summit's opening statements. The rift between ECOWAS and the three countries deepened following a July 2023 coup that led to Genchiani assuming power. ECOWAS responded with sanctions and even hinted at the possibility of military intervention to reinstate the ousted president, Mohamed Bazoum. Although the sanctions were lifted in February, tensions persist, creating a strained atmosphere between the parties. The AES countries in March created a joint military force to combat the militant groups that regularly attack their territory. On July 6, they also talked about mutualizing their approach to strategic sectors such as agriculture, water, energy, and transport. What are your opinions on Mali's recent decision to sever diplomatic relations with Ukraine? Feel free to subscribe, like, share, and share your thoughts in the comments section below.